Come here. Come here. Yeah. I count three. One, two. So why are you kneeling down? Huh? Huh? Why are you kneeling down? Spirit of Saturn. Why are you kneeling down? Speak. Huh? You don't want to talk. Must I kill you? Must I cut your head? Why are you kneeling down? Leave him, leave him. I want to see where you want to go. Come back. I count three. One. You must be here when I say three. Two. Three. So what are you doing to this man? Huh? I finish with him. I can't hear you. I finish. You finish what? I finish with him. No finances, no, nothing. Ministry, nothing. You finish him? Yes. So you are finishing him? Yes. By doing what? He's a slave. Huh? Slave. Can you, talk, can you say what he's saying? Slave. He's your slave? Yes. What are you doing with him to be a slave? You are using him to do what? Work, work, work. To work. To work what? Work for nothing. To work what? Work for nothing. Work for nothing. You, you, you are making him to do what? Speak. I can't hear you. He wants to do ministry, ministry, ministry. He wants to do ministry. He wants to do ministry. So you don't want him to do ministry. What do you want him to do? To work. I can't hear. To, to work for white people. You want him to work for white people. For white people. He must not do ministry. Hey, I'm sure this is a lesson to all of us who are doing ministry. They want him to work for white people, not to do God's work. Work for white people. What are you doing? Leave him, leave him, leave him. Come here. I count three, one, two, three, here. Yeah. So you must stand one place you talk. You say what? You want him to do what? Ministry, ministry, ministry. What? Ministry for what? Ministry for what? To so you want people. him to work for people. What, what are you doing? Hey, hey. It's, very, it's very hot here. It's very, very hot. Yeah. Yeah. So you're feeling hot. These clothes are burning me. What is that? They are burning me, these clothes. Clothes are burning me. They are burning you. So you want him to do the ministry. You don't want him. Huh? Delivering people, delivering people for what? Deliver people for what? So who are you? His grandfather. Grandfather. 
That's why you are taking the clothes. You see, grandfather's long time, there was no need of clothes by there. That's why you are taking off the clothes. Eh? What about the shoes? They are not burning you. I mean, I mean, when you take off the clothes, what about the shoes? How can you do ministry when you are waking the wise men, the wise people? You heard something like that here. Yeah. You want him to work for the wise? Yes. You, he must, he must work. leave these people. They are they are good where they are. They are good when they are suffering. He must leave and go and work eight to five, eight to nine, nothing. He mustn't even touch everything. We'll look at you on your on your Facebook. We'll look at you on your YouTube and all that. He's okay, looking yeah. you for. He says he must leave what he's doing, praying for people. These people are fine suffering where they are. He must go back and work for white people from eight to five, from eight to nine in the evening. These people must not even find him. He must stop watching you on YouTube and Facebook. Pastors, are you hearing this thing? You are waking. Can you support these pastors? I mean, the prophets, the apostles, the teachers. I mean, they must not go to work and they do ministry. This is a shame. If pastors now, how are we going to, I mean, let's take you with a problem between the week and they are waking. So this is how Satan keep the servants of God no support, now they go out to work when you're not supporting them. And look, this is an attack. This is done by demons. If now you have a servant of God and the servant of God is working, this is a shame. It's really painful to find that a servant of God can wake up in the morning, 8 o'clock, goes to work, knock off 5 o'clock. What about these people who are sick? What about these people who need direction in life? What about all these people? Some of you are learning a lot. Pastors, I'm sure this is a lesson to all of us. And this thing is happening to you Christians. You're the one who's supposed to be standing ground to say, if I have a pastor, I must do something for this pastor. I must take care of this pastor. I must make sure. Because how can a pastor, eight o'clock? I mean, when you have a problem, now you see him on Sunday, and the wise people are on top of him. How can you work when you're fasting? This is what is happening to this young man now. How can you now go to work, do fasting, second thing, pray for you, coming to pray for you also between the, in the evening there? What kind of service will be? Such kind of a service where the pastor will be coming from work and then harassed by these people while he is working. It's a shame. It's a shame to all of us who are Christians. In Jesus' name. You are living him in Jesus' mighty name. You live him for God's work. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ouch! Ouch! Jesus' mighty name. You are defeated. In Jesus' mighty name. It's over. You are defeated. In Jesus' name. Look here. This brother, does he know it's like this? You see when he wake up here. Brother, what happened? Where are your clothes? You don't know, huh? Eh? Take your clothes here. I'm very happy for you because your breasts are not big. 
so no one can question you. And also you are delivered. That's what is important. Oh, brother, where are you working? I'm working in Pasonia. Huh? I'm selling cars in Pasonia. Where? In Pasonia, south of Johannesburg. Are you hearing that? So, are you praying for people? Yes, um, I'm in a ministry. Uh, you in the ministry? Yes, I'm a pastor in Garden of Getsemane. You're a pastor? In Orange Farm, yes. So can you hear that? Where are these Christians who are under this man? What a shame to you, Christians. How many people do you have? Um, the tent is full right now. The tent? The tent is packed. It's flat now. The tent is packed. The, the, the it's packed? Yeah, it's, it's full. It's full now? Yes, there's no chairs. Last week Sunday there were no chairs. There was... Uh, people are coming. People are coming. People are being healed. People are being delivered, uh, Papa. People are being delivered? Yes. So from today, I want to promise you, have this spirit of... Uh, because always there's fear on you. Yes. Of stopping, you were hearing God say, stop this job, stop this job, stop this job, yes. stop this. But because you are looking at these people, they can't support enough. Yes. You carry on working. Yes. Eh? Yes. But I want to tell you this. Go and tell them that you people must start to support me now before God reshuffle you. Amen. And, um, you hear me? Amen. Because your deliverance is their judgment now. Yes. You understand? You go and tell them, Christian, I've been delivered. I'm afraid for you and I love you. Yes. So please, before God reshuffle you here, please, I want you to be faithful in supporting God's work and I want to do what God has spoken. Yes. What God has spoken, I want to leave the job. And yes. the ministry will grow in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, how can you believe things like this are happening? This thing is really, you know, it's, it's really making me sad. Because there are many pastors now. God wants to use them mightily, but no one is recognizing them. No one. This is a painful story. Like him, God is using him, people are there, this, that, and they are not supporting. So your church is what? Your church is what? Garden of Getsemane International Ministry. It's in Bosonia. It's in Orange Farm. Listen, you are watching Charis. I'm with this pastor now. God has given you a second chance to stand with this man and support him. This man is supposed to do a full-time ministry, not a part-time. A ministry is not part-time, it's full-time. So stand with him, support him, and God will bless you in Jesus' name.